Hi, I'm David Cooper from E Pianos and Whitley Bay Organs, and today I'm going to show you this beautiful uh, Lowry Holiday Classic. A Holiday Classic is a, a, a beautiful instrument, both in cabinet but also in the features, and it's got that lovely warm Lowry organ sound that we all love. So the uh, the big thing about this instrument is it gives us loads of presets. Not only have we got these ten that can be used when the rhythm buttons on or the different categories of uh, backings, but we've also got uh, lots of songs that are in here which will set up the whole setup for a particular song you might want to play. So you could perhaps find a piece of music with a, a song in it and then you can look through the big list and see if your song comes up in that list. So we have uh, lots of beautiful uh, settings to be used which are all built in but we can make our own too. So if we were to go to the instrument, uh, if I show you, we've got a, a red section here and this has our orchestral voices. We have our solo instruments in blue and then we have our uh, organ sounds and string sounds on these tabs. Now the organs can be uh, made up of different tab footages that you'd have on like a pipe organ principles. So if we turn off our other voices and uh, we've now just got our flutes so we can go to uh, 16 foot, 8, 4, 2, so we can play them on their own. four different flute pitches. But what we can do, if we take some out, let's take the eight and the two out, we've got a beautiful uh, flute 16 and four. Now what we can also do with this is we can um, decide we want some sustain with it, so we can put up a sustain, and we decide if we want the tremolo to be fast, uh, which is on at the moment. soft sound that's just from two flutes the 18 and the 4 16 and 4 and if we change that to um, it's two foot you'll hear that a little bit shriller so we can put some more on here we can go into uh, 18 Five and a third, four, and now we've got much more. So that's making our own sounds up. And then on top of that, we've got this red section of preset sounds. So let's take these flutes off now for a minute, and we'll go into the, uh, we've got a piano. Uh, let's turn the piano on. Banjo. We even get the repeat coming through. And then we've got things like um, strings, vibes. sounds there. If we go to the next section along, it's a blue section, and these are mono voices. So we go into the trumpet, turn it on. If I play two notes, only one of them will sound. So the idea, that's our solo instrument. If we play a chord, it will be the top note of the chord. Okay, so I can mix that with maybe some trombones. Now, if you're not into playing the big chords with your right hand, we can do a thing called harmony, and that will give us the left hand notes built into the voice of the red section. So, if we go on to 
AOC, which has been known for years. Um, AOC, people used to call it any old chord, um, but AOC is a way that it gives you the chord from your left hand, even though you're only playing one note with the right hand. So if I play now with those trombones again, listen with uh, my one note playing. <laughs> with strings. It's me playing the one note with my right hand, but this harmony feature is bringing across the chords from my left hand and making it sound in that lovely upper sound. Okay, so that's me picking sounds I want in myself. If I want to use all the automatics, then we have this uh, screen here that we can go into, and we've got uh, all our rhythm section in the blue buttons over here. So if I wanted to play, let's go to a swing rhythm. Okay, now we've got choices whether we wanted to light up all these notes to make it much clearer to use or not. We can decide whether we want those or not. And we can have variations on the backing depending on which buttons I've selected. So if I go to the basic rhythm, we've just got a basic swing rhythm now. I can have an introduction that comes in. My standard swing rhythm, but I can go into variations. And I've got three for every rhythm. There's lots going on, I hope you can hear it. So, autumn keys is probably um, suitable for autumn leaves. we can go into. So when we go to those variations again, we've got variation number two, which is harmony caps, whatever that means. And the last one is uh, Sans Franz, which, see what that sounds like. Um, so uh, variations, what's the right buttons here? Variations, Sans Franz. A bit slower with some pianos. big sound but we've got all these variations to go from and every single rhythm has got lots of variations now we've also got variations in the style variations in the drums in the bass uh, we've even got effects like a, a drum fill in that will come in so we can bring in that rhythm section and there's loads in there to make you feel like you're really doing well now then if we go into um, different rhythms they're all going to give us lots of variations if I go to big band big band number one is called swing train okay let's try that one with an introduction just like a train. That's good, isn't it? We've got a bar along here, and that does the effects um, that like a drum fill in. So if I touch this bar on my thumb, back it again. station there we go so we've got all these different ones that we can bring in and then we've got a song list so if we go to the song setup button this gives us a list of songs that we can select from there's 354 in here and we can go through and choose if I go to 
And let's look on this list, look at the wrong buttons now. If we go down scrolling, we can go down to, um, what should we play? Uh, Danube Waves. Let's play a chord here and see what that sounds like. We press select and it's all ready now to play with the intro. <laughs> Down, isn't it? Let's go a bit further down the list and see some of the songs. Let's see if we go back to the bees or some bees. Um, you can see there's a lot to choose from. Um, Bessima Mucho, there we go. So we go Bessima Mucho, press select, and then play our chord. <laughs> set up to a song and there's we've only got to the B's and the C's there's a whole alphabet there of songs to choose from let's just go back to one other thing that we've got on here we've got a an area of the upper the lower keyboard that can be used for melody as well so we've got the whole of the upper keyboard and our chords are generally going to be down here but this little bit here can be used as an extra solo part so if we go into any of the rhythms again let's go into uh, foxtrot and there's our free variations but if we just come out of the uh, variations on here you'll see we've got the name of the song here. And if we go into the, uh, the rhythm button, we can see that all these registrations can come in um, from the touch of a button. They'll set up the whole instrument. So um, without the rhythms, we've got things like organ. Let's just take these off a bit. Is, um, church organ. Big grand organ sound, but all these sounds that we've got in these buttons give us a little stroke and then another sound, a bell. So we could be playing um, our upper keyboard with the pipe organ sound, but down here we've got a different sound. So. these things you know that probably wasn't the best demonstration of it so if we go to another one along here we've got um theatre organ that hasn't got one let's go a bit further um, strings and violin so Sounds just ready to go. Let's try another one we've got here. Um, open 
H. Open harmonic organ. And we've got a mandolin. A little bit further along, we've got a choir. This is nice. solo in as we're playing. What else have we got here? We've got piano and strings with the trombone, so we could be playing... Um... another sound they're ready to use. It's a bit like having three keyboards because we've got the lower, the upper, and then an extra little bit that we can play little solos or have effects on there too. So essentially we've got loads of presets along here in categories of Latin, show, big band, country, and there's got temp for each, and then there's a rhythm set. For every rhythm there's a selection of sounds that will suit that rhythm. And then on top of that you've got your mix of your draw of your organ sort of um, presets and sounds from the, the different buttons. We've got the orchestral presets, the solo presets. We've got the harmony on our uh, voices in the upper keyboard from the left-hand chords. And then we've got this great screen that shows us all of the information that we want to see um, all close and we can scroll through there. And then we've also got the song list set up going down here as well. So lots to offer you. Beautiful cabinet, beautiful sound, lovely speakers, warm, rich, Lowry sound. I hope you found this is useful. To watch, this is the Lowry Holiday Classic, also known as the A3000. We've got one waiting for you. Treat yourself.